Alright everybody, welcome back once again to another exciting episode of the Super Suck Hour. This is a clubhouse edition. As you know, we shoot these episodes three in a row, and by the time we get to the third one, we're totally fucked up, and we keep it free-balling. And Neil cooks us something to eat. Once again, in the studio, we have Mr. Luke Utopia Luke Toys. Reich. Luke Wright. Luke Wright. Like Luke Wright Luke Luke is always right. Reich. 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 Like the third Luke Wright. Yeah. Right. That's the other reason people think I'm a Nazi. Because they think it's a name that I took on. You can't blame him, though, I mean. It's actually my name, though. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. No, I want Luke Reich. 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 What does that mean? Like, rule or... Reich is kingdom. Oh, so, okay. But the name Reich that is my father's, that was his grandfather's, which is the Jewish side of my family, is actually... I, I was looking into it. I read it. It started as, like, you know, it's like a nickname. It's like Rich, you know, as in like a, like a merchant who's rich, you know. So that's where the name comes from. Cool. It's not because he's like a king or anything. It's because he had a lot of money. Got it. And Nasty Neil. Oh, <laughs> hey, 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 yeah. Okay. So we're like back here again and about to rock another episode. Oh, <clears throat> now, I'd like to thank all the sponsors and all the donors because we just made a fortune. We killed it last week. Killed it. About to be picked up in a fucking Ben's, like, stretch 80-person limo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it can't even turn a block. Yeah, it can't even turn. It is the fucking block. <laughs> so, so thank you for that. We uh, would like to say thank you to... Actually, no, here's what happened. Um, today, we're just going to shoot the shit. We're just going to free ball it. We're drunk. Uh, normally, I like to try to have at least one episode per cycle where we have a sexy guest or we talk about... Sticking things up your ass or some and sort of I porno am. shit, and um, we book we booked um, we booked I booked someone like that and they they didn't work out so the sex part got canceled but the show must go on and it's fine because actually I did get a comment on YouTube from somebody a few weeks ago that was like uh you know all these shows are about sexual experimentation and I, I just wanted to listen to a show about toys Aww. so i felt bad like maybe we were hammering this the, the, the perv shit too much i got a guy working behind the scenes you know trying to you know get people that run television I networks or whether to, oh yeah what were you gonna say i was gonna be like yo get a fucking life like i can i, so, I can i don't even know what i was gonna say i can but dig I like, it nah, let me joke. i can dig it i mean i've been listening to the um the Marsham Toy Hour. Have you listened to that? It's like a toy blog by Gary Ham and Tyler Ham and a, and a couple other people, and it's just talking about designer toys. Not like this show where like you think it's gonna be toy talk and then suddenly like the whole room is being shoved up your ass. I understand. <laughs> I understand why people might, might be sensitive about that. So, whatever. We're gonna just uh, we're gonna talk about creativity and things like that. We have some hate mail that we're going to read and we're going to use that as a jump off platform into, you know, talking about shit that you guys that are tired of the butt shit are hearing. But don't worry, next week we're going to have a few more uh, racier guests coming up. We're not going to de-emphasize that, but actually someone pitched this show to um, Comedy Central and they were like, we already have a sex positive show. <laughs> It's like this is that's what this is a sex positive show. I thought this was a show about Star Wars, you know. So like, why is somebody putting it in, in that category? But it didn't it didn't just, work. Just in a category you can't of keep your hand awesome. out of your ass. In order to have like a show mm-hmm. on some like network or something, it has to be, it has to fit into a category. Like I, we've this been, is just fucking a plethora of awesomeness. Yeah, but that's why it doesn't fit no. anywhere. It fits in awesome. It's it's gotta fit. Yeah, okay, fine. I, I, I'll, I'll take your word for it, but... We're too ahead of the time, man. They don't understand. They don't understand. It's not, about, it's not about that. I'm not trying to necessarily get on a television network with this shit. I, yeah, yeah, right. right. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't reject that, but I've had people trying to pitch me for TV shows since I was on Work of Art. So, like, since 2011, there's been some... Cons- even before that, when I did Can't Get a Date. So, since 2007... And then picking up again 2011 to 2012, there's been some effort by somebody to get the Suck Lord on TV. And just many, many networks have looked at this endeavor and just been like, uh, I like it. I like him. But this doesn't fit in with any of the anything we're looking for right now. 
because it's they want they want categories. They like they we have a sex positive show, so we don't need another one. And sex it's... negative. That's a category. <laughs> sex I don't and even know toys. What either of those things are. You it can't just lump it, this under what's comedy. Sex positive. Like infomercial it's, even? It's an it's like I mean, we're feel very, good very about they're having sex. Oh. This isn't really sex positive. Yeah, it's well, like you're cramming shit up your ass. That's not comfortable. <laughs> you know? It could, you could picture them as being sex negative. You know, you gotta get like darker shit. You know, like uglier shit. I mean, I haven't... I actually haven't watched any of the fucking things they've done. So, you know, any of the other episodes... I don't know. He could be talking page, about yeah. like fucking... You know, like hanging someone from the rafters, you know, and like thrashing them with the extension cord. You know, it, this this show, it's like I'm I was putting some shit on SoundCloud and YouTube and applying for iTunes, which I don't even know if we got right now, cause who knows? But I couldn't pick a category, so I just picked society and culture. Oh, well, fair enough. Yeah, fair this enough. is about society <laughs> and culture. True. You know, so we can talk about <clears throat> sex and we can talk about Star Wars, and they somehow relate to each other. But. This is also the episode where Neil cooks us something to eat. And I think uh, before, before we get into the process, you like his cooking, don't you? Oh, my goodness. You just so gushed. So you gushed. Good. You gushed the second And I've been saving that. all day for this, so, okay, so, so I'm you, excited. You haven't eaten all day? No, not really. So you're going to shovel it in? Uh, well, we'll see. Okay, well, we're doing something different today. Yeah, right? I've never made this in my life, so I don't even know what it's going to be like. I just Tell, tell us what you're going to do. Everybody likes it. Just um, butter us up a little bit. It's green, savory pancakes made with uh, red Swiss chard uh, with a lime cilantro butter sauce with shrimp, and I'm going to garnish so it. So wait a minute, you're, ma- you're, set, you're making pancakes. Yeah, but they're not traditional pancakes. You but know, the pan- it's still going to be a pancake. Yeah. Okay. Can we talk about the custom butter, though? Uh, can, yes. can we see it? Look at that. So he makes his own butter with That's like scallions butter. in it. Well, you know. Wait, did you leave it in the sun for a week? What is that? You're black. <laughs> that shit is black. No, it's cilantro That's not butter. It's, it's cilantro it's butter. Rotten. It's cilantro it's so butter. Wrong. Black. Put cilantro in the butter. What's wrong with you? It's it's like, so. Like so. Hey, oh, hey, hey, relax. No, what happened is like you, you said you, you do a lot of your prep work in your parents' kitchen, right? Yeah. At home in fucking Jerkland County or wherever the fuck you live. <laughs> yeah. Where people punch you in the face for talking to their wives. <laughs> you bloody nose. We bro, saw bro. that. Yeah, all right. You bloodied his nose. Yeah. We know. You broke his nose, but okay. Whatever. In the land of sw- where you're the only swag for 2,000 miles. Uh, you you didn't have access to your <laughs> you didn't have access to your prep kitchen so you came at me you're like oh, I don't know what to do uh, uh, I can't I gotta make something real minimal this time can I make pancakes yeah I was thinking I was like everybody loves pancakes, pancakes. pancakes. Make pancakes. Oh, you're like can I make easy. blueberry pancakes and orange juice I'm like come on dude get the fuck <laughs> out of here <laughs> so I so you know, and then he was like, nah, it's got to be real deal, holy deal. And I was like, eh. I don't like sweet food, so I was like, why don't you make something more savory? Make a, are there sa- Can you invent a savory pancake and make a savory yeah. pancake? And I looked up on the internet, and then I uh, came across this, and I was like, eh, Okay, let's, so let's you've never it. done yeah. this before, and we're going to go out on a limb. And I don't even know if I prepped it right, but I don't even know if it's going to work. Looking at that butter, I know you didn't prep it right. <laughs> wait, wait, did no, you leave a, I mixed leave a all... jug of milk in the sun? During, during the break. It's black! Think... <laughs> How, how is that Okay, butter? you may be like a road warrior Jew, but you are kind of a food Nazi. Like yeah, you, oh, I you're, hate food. You're very narrow when it comes to eating. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting. How do you screw up butter? He didn't screw it up. It's Yo, black. Just, just, butter is not it's black. seasoned butter. I it's mixed black. things with it. This is interesting because we're setting this up. He's either going to love what you make or he's going to fucking <laughs> it. And, and, I that, and that'll well, be interesting. I feel late to see okay, but we still, ha- we, ha- we still have to kill... Uh, you know, a good <laughs> half an hour of time before we start your cooking thing. Because how long? How long is it gonna take? Like, it, it might, it might, uh, how long do you need? Maybe I should start now. How long does it take? An hour? I have no idea. I've never did this before. Okay. All right. Fine. You want to? If you feel comfortable, you feel comfortable. I mean, I do want your opinion and what we're gonna talk about. But okay. I'll, I'll, I'll try. And make okay. okay I'll fine. Uh, when I I I I make solicitations for for feedback and even hate mail i ask people to send me letters and criticize me and tell me what i'm doing wrong and just basically i get i get but smoke blown up my ass all the time everybody fucking loves me i'm incredible people come at me with just like endless unironic continuous praise 
dick sucking. I literally get my dick sucked because of the work that I do. And it's great, and, I, and, I, and I'm not complaining, and I definitely don't want to discourage anybody from doing that. But on the other hand, if somebody wants to say something negative about me or criticize me either constructively or otherwise, you're more than welcome to do it, and, if I, can, and, I, and I will read it on the air, and I will, I will engage with it. So recently, not that recently, I, you know, but like last time I was sh shooting this episode, I got a, a letter in the mail. It was actually, it wasn't a digital, it wasn't an email, it wasn't a text message. It, there were it, two copies of this sent yeah. also. I like, got a letter in the mail. No. Someone hated him so much that they spent money on making sure that he making got Making sure he got here. He, yeah, yeah, twice. There's two. There's, so there's two. Fourth no. of March, 2016. Yeah, fourth of March. No, no return. No return address. <laughs> right. 2016. That like good old forever stamp. No, no return address. And if you read the letter, no signature. And it's a, it's a typed, it's a typed letter. I got two of them in the mail. I didn't handwrite it. I will know. I will. I will note going into this that one of them came with a single dollar bill. I did. It did. I spent it. Did. it I spent it already. Oh. But what did yeah, you spend it on? Stamp more stamps. I don't know. Was at the <laughs> post office. I got Thank a letter. You. So why don't you read the letter, J Corp, and then we'll. I'll let you go through the whole thing. Everybody can just listen to it, and then we'll go back through it line by line and engage with all his criticism while Neil makes his. Grilled shrimp, cilantro, butter, pancakes. Need water. Okay, okay, J. Corp. I, I gotta look at you while I read this. It's, yeah, fire, just... fire away. <clears throat> Dear Sucklord66, some fan slash hate mail for your show, or whatever. <laughs> First, stop with the gay shit. Add 13 pe inches to your penis is homoerotic, is it not? <laughs> yeah, it's comical, but <laughs> who's gonna buy this? <clears throat> Out of all of the subjects for your first print, that's what you go with? How about Mary, pa Mary Paper's tits? Or Star Wars or something hip-hop or even the Suck Lord himself as an action figure? I'm no homophobe, but I'm sure a scholar can look at your work as a whole and start to say this guy could be in the closet. <laughs> gay Empire, Gay Enterprise, Wizard School, like butt plugs, all the pink colors, etc. The gay empire works. I get it. It's funny. But Frankencock? Who's putting that on their wall except a gay man? Hey, maybe... <laughs> <laughs> and he's calling you a homophobe. Holy shit. Go on. <laughs> hey, maybe that's your new audience. But you don't see gay stuff in causes, Art. You don't see it in Shepard Fairey's work. Oh, what a fucking... Oh, but you do in Keith Haring. And Robert Maplethorpe, just saying. Second, stop running away from what you are actually awesome at. Bootleg toys. Accidental art? Who's buying that accidental crap? The LSD piece. Sorry, but does it come with the free tab? Come on, get back to making some cool toys and place them in cool packaging that is labeled psychedelic. Like the suck packs, the suck realms, and the suckle container tubes, etc. Must be with packaging that says psychedelic. That is key. Sell that stuff in your shop and maybe you'd get some money that you're always crying like a bitch about. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe you'd get some money that you're always crying like a bitch about. You say everyone is doing bootlegs now. Well, you were there at the beginning and you are the best. Keep at it. You say it doesn't pay financially. Well, charge a little more. I'm just a concerned fan showing some love. You are the bootleg king and a lord. Fucking act like it. Instead of a little fag. <laughs> hey, you huge fucking faggot. <laughs> Sinicerally. Spelled sinicerally. Confucius. Confucius. What do you guys think? Does he have a point? I mean, you are a gigantic faggot. But <laughs> I think he might be too. I think he's got kind of mixed up over there. And he starts off calling you a homophobe, and then he's calling you a he's calling you a fag. It's a it's a strange letter because there are definitely some real kernels of truth in there. But I, this guy wants to see Mary Paper's tits. Now, can we make that happen? Or? Yeah. <laughs> what baffles me is that he Shout took the to time to write this, you know, typing up. Apparently, he wrote them. But he, yeah, wrote, he, he mailed two of them, but apparently he didn't edit it. 
I don't know. know. I just like, think it's, it's like this train of thought. You know, you think if you're going to spend all this time and money on postage, you know, you would at least proofread it and like make sure your ideas of no. I think know, the ideas are valid. I mean, I think that's a totally valid uh, uh, well, piece of correspondence. Well, your homoeroticism, though. Is there homoeroticism in your work? Yes, there is. There is, and and you are actively aware of this too. Yeah. And how, 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 do you, how do you stand with it? I mean, this guy clearly is saying that you're in the closet. I mean, I'm not gay. And if you look at my personal life and my behavior, you know, there's never, I've never had a relationship with a man. I've, I date girls. I like girls. That's well documented. And that also features heavily in my work. It's not exclusively gay. There is a heavy gay angle to it. And there's a, a, a plethora of reasons why I do that. I think I just think I think it's I think it's a strange criticism because uh, it's so sort of blatantly homophobic. I can understand if he was challenging me creatively, like, hey, mm -hmm. you know, you press the gay button a lot, and you should be doing something else. But there is something slightly homophobic about it. I mean, I, I think before we even get into that, it's like there's couple, there's different types of hate mail. Right. You know, there's like mail from somebody that doesn't like you, doesn't understand why you're successful, doesn't think you should be getting the credit you get because right. they do something similar but not as good and you're winning and they're not, so fuck you. And they never really looked at it. And then there's the other type which is like, which is maybe this, which is like a, a disgruntled fan. Mm -hmm. Someone that used to think you were great and then you let them down somehow. That's mm -hmm. another type of fan though. That seems a little bit more like this. To be honest with you, I think that's somebody who's like a diehard fan. That just wants to suck I my agree cock, with that. wants to suck my cock, sees that I'm struggling and is trying to help me by main by taking on this sort of like tough love quasi confrontational stance. You know, I think this person truly loves me, may even want to suck my dick, or else why <laughs> why call me out on that? He's fixating on it. And he is to, to, to distract himself from it, from how how it fills his head, this thirst for cock, he has to focus on the negative aspects. He has to drive himself in the opposite this direction to make it, because if he tells everyone else, no, I'm, I'm not gay, this guy's kind of gay, you know, look at him, not me, you know, then maybe he can what do you think about? What do you that think about not, that, that, that he's the position? Gay. I mean, I, I... Do I do too much gay work? Is I don't it, think you do enough of it. I don't think the gay work that you do is nearly faggy enough. I mean, yeah, it's pink. It, it's got like a cock on there, but you know, straight guys have cocks too. You got covered. You yeah, know, I don't like think the, that, I don't that's think not gay. It's Franken Frankenstein. Frankenstein with a big cock is not is not gay or straight. It's just. It's just, it's a penis enlargement Look, ad. If, if your work is meant to attract, then it's meant to give pleasure to, to the viewer when there's a dick in there. I mean, the pleasure and the you dick like in a combination. At dick? Not really, honestly. I you know, love looking at oh, dick. I think that everyone loves breasts, looking but not Looking at a, dick, goes is a d dicks. dick is a thing. I mean, it's like if I am interested in the dick, then great. But if I have, is it un unsolicited, uh, please, I would rather not. I, I, I don't, I don't, I, to be honest with you, I don't understand the forward. But that, that 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 that's the brunt of his criticism. No, not at all. I think he was just kind of attacking you personally from something that he could pick up on. But he it's really because did. his desires and attentions are so drawn to the penis. You know, it's but, because but he, he can't also, get it out of his head. Keep a lot of know? praise on your work, though. I mean, he's a great fan of your bootleg toys. Well, but the thing is, he's right about all of that shit. Right. So, what what is your relationship with bootleg toys? He's, he's clearly, you know, you've got really people who are willing to attack you to get more of this bootleg toys out of you. I think that's. I mean, that tells me I should be making more bootleg toys. I, exactly. He, I mean, he, I'm not necessarily going to give up the gay thing. I think he he undermines himself by hitting me that hard with that. It's kind of, I, and the thing is, I don't even know if he believes that. I think he just feels like. He's trying to provoke. Mm -hmm. I don't know what sort of person this is or what their background is. Either they're like a flaming, you know, a flaming homo that's just like tickling my cockles or it's uh, some sort of rural type kid who maybe doesn't have quite the experience around the Can we encourage this, this Confucius to identify himself, please? Yeah, Confucius. I mean, you read, you sent me this letter. I'm going to be mad. I, I, I suspect. I might know who you are or what type you might be and you must be loving the fact that I'm dedicating a whole fucking episode to your stupid letter you're lucky my guest canceled on me but and like but you do raise some good points and I would challenge you to identify yourself I'll make it worth your while I mean he, he doesn't seem to like your accidental art 
Now, I'm not really sure what exactly he means by accidental art, but what... Sometimes I sell my garbage and my mistakes are just like the... The accidental art specifically refers to a piece I sold recently where it was the, uh, the cardboard from the bottom of my, uh, my pressure pot. Like all this resin oh, yeah, would accumulate yeah, yeah. on it. And then after doing casting on it for like a few months, so I'd rip it out and I'd hang it on the wall and it looked cool and it was like accidental art and the point I'm making with that is just like I'm just such an amazing artist that even my fuck ups are beautiful yeah you've been and doing you're gonna that forever I've been doing that forever so I'm not gonna stop doing that that's I like think. one of the first things hair. you were doing when I started yeah I mean I've sold my you. garbage out of my garbage can to people so it's like I'm never gonna stop doing that shit so that, that criticism is ridiculous and what else is he saying I should stop doing those LSD pieces okay I'll give it, I'll give it to him those were not successful some of my drippy shit on the background stuff maybe is not as good. I don't know. I ha, you know, I understand. I, I understand that. You know, but he makes he does make a good a good a good point that I've come to realize that I have to just if I want people to stay interested in my work, I have to give the people what they want. You can't just like flail around if you're if you're trying to sell artwork and get you have to do the shit that people like or you have to do you have to you have to play to your strengths and you can experiment all you want you're justified in doing that but you can't be mad if your fans leave you behind on that stuff if you if you wander too far away from what like what you're known for you might you might lose your followers and i experienced that i absolutely experienced that and this kid is obviously calling for me to get back into the game because i did invent this shit and that I should, I should return to form. I should get, just stop being a bitch and stop fucking around. I don't like how he calls me a fag, but he's right. I should return. Call a bitch too. Well, <laughs> do you, I mean, what do you, do you, do you, have you ever had that experience or were you just like did the same thing so many times in a row that you got sick of it and you Entirely. tried to do something else and then Never. the people that cared about what you, what you were doing in the first place hated on you for it? I love doing the same shit over and over. Just repeating it and repeating it. With slight variations and improvements. But my best selling figures are always the same one, the ones that are just if I don't know. I think I think that's a fair criticism and I think maybe he did need to open my ass up a little bit with all the gay critique. But you know, he did love the suck a attention, didn't it? He did love the psychedelic brand name and, and to be fair, I mean in, in a lot of ways, your your pink brand name, psychedelic ink, is is the artwork, right? I mean, he says he says here, uh, you know, must be packaging that says psychedelic. That is key. Now, so he he clearly really loves the brand and the image. It's just certain pieces he doesn't agree with, right? So I mean, ultimately, this guy loves you a lot, and he just sent a dollar with his with his with his letter. Well, I mean, how Can do you say why he sent the dollar? There, there's nothing, no mention of no. The but dollar he here, sent actually. the dollar because I solicit money from doing the show. Oh. It's like I ask for donations, and I actually suggest that you should put a dollar in the mail. Mm. I would love it if Confucius would con continue to send me his critique with a dollar or five or whatever. Ten. Ten dollars. Yeah. Twenty. Why if, skim? You, if you're a real fan, you should be given. I'll real read. Money. I'll read your letter again if you give me ten dollars. I don't know. I think that. I think that's invaluable <laughs> criticism. You think so, right? I well, think this is actually much better, much more loving than the last one that you got. Well, that wasn't really directed to me. That was just a comment made about me. But th this, that's what I, I guess. That's what I was saying before. That first negative fan mail was from somebody who didn't really know me and just from a distance decided I was a jerk bag and didn't deserve any of the credit I got mm -hmm. because he's a toy designer too and he's a nobody. Who was this guy? It was oh, some hate mail we read a few weeks ago. Oh, I, was, I, <clears throat> I didn't watch the show. Yeah, I know. There. Who was the but guy? this is the uh, uh, some guy that makes art. Those toys suck? They're okay. Mm, so that, they that's, suck. That's not the issue. This is, a, this is a letter from a disgruntled fan, a fan who's felt he's been left down, a fan who bought into the original idea and now sees it waffling and getting fuzzy around the edges. And I'll confess, I don't think his examples are great, but it's true, you know, like the, the shit isn't, hasn't been as strong as it could, had, has been and could have been in a long fucking time. And that's, that's good to know. That's good to hear, you know. I've been somebody... telling you to go back to bootlegs you for have years. You have to. All my friends tell I've me that I've been on shit. your ass about it since you, even when you were still <laughs> making bootlegs. I've been telling you to do more of that shit. You make yourself known for something, you gotta keep doing that thing. That's what you were saying. Don't let him peer pressure you. Well, <laughs> no, I'm great at peer pressure. And also physical pressure and enforcement. <laughs> Listen, bootlegs. All right. 
All right, everybody, that's true. I'm going to get, I've decided, uh, this is also partially. Um, Will you be launching an intern program, possibly? Why do you? I mean, you're going to need a little help with people producing more you, of these bootlegs, You want right? to do this? No, I mean, I was already your intern. Yeah, you are. I got two of my apprentices, apprentices. intern things. You, you know what? You were an intern, I was hey, an apprentice. Hey, listen, I was actually, I actually considered myself an intern. I, you know, yeah. until, until he introduced a girl that he was seeing also as his intern, and I immediately thought, I am an apprentice. I'm mm -hmm. not an intern. <laughs> You learned something. I, I learned a lot. And, I learned so much, and now we're we're all here in the same room praising you and 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 le reading these lovely letters for you. This guy really does love your work. He has all of the. He has. He, he knows all this work that I don't even know about. Don't you. I owe him something? Ah, uh, blowjob maybe. No, but I'm just saying. This <laughs> seems <laughs> really. Gay. Listen, if you've done something that inspired somebody and you're called upon to continue to do it, you have to do you it. Must. You can't. You can't bitch out on your leg, your legend or your legacy. It's like people are running away with this bootleg shit. It's going on and on All and on. All the bootlegs suck. No, yeah, it's a, it, that is a whole terrible. entire conversation that's going to be had. And if you want to hear that conversation, you could go to the Marsh Ham podcast where we really just focus in on this stuff. You know, we t we take a, a we paint with broader strokes here on the Suck Hour, and. We only talk about these things and just like what they mean cosmically. We don't always get up into the high high weeds, right? It's like boot, bootlegging toys for the suck lord is like that's that's the that's the medium that he created, and now there's a zillion other people speaking in that same voice. Does that mean he should shut up? No, it means he should do it better than they yeah, do. Yeah, exactly. You gotta show him who's boss continually. Okay, but the thing is, and, and he's been inspired, I've, ins I've been inspired by Confucius, but unfortunately, some of the other ideas that I've been meditating on and thinking about, some t partially from Japan and partially from looking at all this gay porno, is that, like, the gay shit is actually going to even get harder now. You know, it's like, I'm starting to look at um, things like uh, Robert Maplethorpe and Tom of Finland and some of these gay leather S&M magazines as, like, an influence. It's like... I want to go totally sexual with all the work. It's like being in Japan, I want to do bukkake and tentacle porn figures and just like go full in on that shit. Just all sex. All sex all the time. Sex and micronauts. Bukkake micronauts. <laughs> Fuck porns. Don't you think? I mean... I... I, I love tentacle porn in do general, you? so I, I wouldn't object to that at are all. You, are you joking or do you specifically? No, I'm actually not joking about that. I, I, I did go through a phase where I actually really mostly watched tentacle rape for like a little while. <laughs> um, you know, after hours, right? Um, no, really, it was, uh, it, it's very bizarre, but there is a very strong, like, eroticism about, about What's it. What's it about? No, you know, have you seen, like, porn involving, like, tentacles raping young girls? Yeah, Mostly I mean, I haven't, settings. like, gotten into it and fapped to it and found all the good shit, but I've watched it and I've seen it. I mean, there's, like, 17, like, tentacle penises, like, running at this girl, and all of them are trying to, like, jab, like, all in, in, into any orifices, and... And there's something sexy about that. I don't. Why is that different oh, than a bunch of? What makes that different from like 17 guys with cocks trying to do the same thing? See, the thing is, those tentacles have expertise. Like they're really working the like the the what is it the the, uh, really working the, the zones them. right? Like they the, you know the. But these... the thing is, the tent it, all the tentacles belong to like a single creature, monster. So it's just like sure. this one thing is trying to fuck a girl with. Multiple no, but it feels proboscis. like 17 things. It doesn't really feel like like one thing. I mean, I, it's just great because they have they, they're so good at it. I mean, you just look at how they're like like you would not have a guy that has enough limbs to be able to like stimulate everything everything in your body, right? So, I mean, when you have like 17 tentacles and all, they're all like lubricated. It's, one's it's in your pussy, perfect. one's in your mouth, two in your ass, two in your pussy, three in your mouth, two in each hand, two in your feet, some in your ears. Uh, I don't know about the ears, but yeah, that's about the gist of it, yeah. Some in your eyes. I don't know. It could, I mean, at that point, you've got a surplus. If I had 17 cocks, I could probably Would come you? up with but 17 places. But are they all coming places. from the same place? Or are they I all think they're coming body? from the same consciousness. They're not 17 individual cock creatures. It's all these all these cocks belong to like well, one. Do you have snake cocks? Because if all the cocks are coming out of your crotch, then there's only so much you can do, you know? I, don't, I can't. It's I'm like holding a bunch I'm of not... pool cues and trying to fucking shoot <laughs> See, it. That's not they're the same, really right? fucking long. And, they, and they're prehensile then, too. Because that sounds even worse. You got like these 
fucking gigantic cocks, all of them erect and throbbing <laughs> against each other, and, and they can't fit into anything because it just butts against it because you got everything is the same length, you know? Jake, you're talking Jake about Park. like a bunch of mushrooms, and that's totally not the case in, in uh, this case. You're talking about like like a bunch of like, yeah, you know, like, like no, There's not at all. Purpose. I mean, he's already talking about having more than one cock, you know, but. Ha, have have you not had the fantasy of having more than one penis? No, oh, that just, it doesn't make any sense. It's like, what would I do with, even with two cocks? No, you know? I have not, but I've had the fantasy of having like an army. The there you go. Say that again. Fucking a girl in the ass and the pussy at the same time. Wait, so, but it, it would just feel the same. It's just two of them at once. Or, or is it doubled because you have two cocks? Yes, I, I mean, I don't think about this shot. I never or thought about that, but I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to imagine that now. I can see how that would feel fine. It just feels redundant to me. I mean, you got one cock, there's, there's not much more you can do with two. You know, unless you're feeling like more from both of them, you know, it's like amplified. But that doesn't sound right to like, me. Like, what if I had like 17 cocks and they were all as sensitive and they were all getting different or equal stimulations at the same time? I don't know if I could keep track of all that shit. Yeah, to it's be too much with work. <laughs> I could barely even keep track of one cock. You know? <laughs> but, well, what is. So That's then, why men don't. You know, a lot of guys won't experiment. You know, why do you, one cock why is do you, enough. One why cock do you is find too it, much. Why do you find you know, it you erotic, can't worry though? About another guy's cock. What? I, I, I believe. I, I, I would say I would attribute it to the same kind of like rape fantasy. You know, the, the, the helplessness of it all. And it's just like. Being overpowered by this. This creature that is has this incredible sexual like desire for you for this body. I mean, I, for me personally, like the 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 idea of somebody desiring me is actually a huge turn on rather than you know like oh you know. The but size it has to be a seventeen or... cock tentacle creature. I mean, we're be... talking. It's like escalation. Porn, right? There's different degrees of it. That's like the penultimate degree or or the ultimate degree or whatever it is. Because things go in stages. You know, like, okay, like one tentacle. Five tentacles, and she's saying that this is like the ultimate one, you one know. Of, one of, you know, and it, yeah, one of. And it's great. I think um, this is gonna come up really badly, but I think the strong. <laughs> <laughs> but I think there is something incredibly erotic about stepping into the male gaze and watching the woman struggle as as she comes around to enjoy the sex. See, and I feel guilty watching shit like that. Incredibly, incredibly. I feel really terrible when I watch that kind of like you know, quasi rapey gang bangy stuff where it's like the guys break into the girl's house and they sort of overpower her and they start, you know, having their way with her and then over the course of the, you know, exchange she comes to enjoy it. You know, that's like a big thing in porno. But I I find that's that That's most porn though. Yeah, it kind like... of is. But watching porn as a woman, you, you have to train yourself to watch it like you're jerking off. Like, <laughs> like I'm, I and, and I have to sort of like picture myself to have a penis to watch these. And you know, That's and interesting. Well, see, really? I I've never heard someone say that before. No, and so I mean, you're saying you're when you watch that type of porno, you're putting yourself from the male point of view. Mostly from so we're talking human pornos now, right? Like human, yeah, human, yeah, human. yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yes, it, I mean, a lot of times it's like I, I sort of like oh, okay, well, this girl's ass is amazing, you know. But most, not only because it's just shot from the men's point of view, but it's like the kind of attitude towards a girl is like sometimes I get off of like, yeah, bitch, like suck it, you know, and and. and I would have to necessarily step into a guy's point of view in order to enjoy that because for me it's not like I would really get off of a POV of a guy like, you know, like licking me out. Like, honestly, watching a video like that, I can't really empathize at all. Pussy eating videos? I mean, if it's a POV, it's a little awkward because I don't know this guy and, and, and you know, for me it's like, it's much easier to step into an anonymous, anonymous man than an anonymous receiving female, you huh. know what I'm saying? I never thought of that. That's interesting. I mean, I've, I've found that I've had to, you know, step into, like, uh, the penis, basically. And so a lot of times it's like I wouldn't... There was there are not a lot of stuff made in, like, the female point of view. First of all, it's not erotic. So then let me, let me ask you, going back to the tentacle porn, do you find possibly that you like the notion of being overwhelmed by, all, by this creature, but because it's not a human creature, like, the male or the men or this gang of men has been sort of, like, taken out of the equation, like, you can get more of that pure sense of being overpowered without necessarily having to deal with a bunch of fucking dudes. That's, a, that's rough because I'm still dealing with whether I'm actually empathizing as like the woman or the guys. The, but, but in the tentacle porn, are you the woman or the creature? Both. 
See, the thing is about, especially about, <laughs> like, like, gangs like of men. No, is, I, I don't care for any of that tentacle shit. Sorry. No. But we can talk about gangs of men instead. I mean, no, I don't it care is about no but I'm just saying, same. what's the difference yeah, between, like, a tentacle creature and a gang of men? Yeah, that's kind of just... Not much. Not much. Because, really, really what, what really, uh, for me, it's like the, if you have, like, one guy who just wants to fuck, that's, like, 100%. You got two more in there, that's 300%. And now suddenly the room is full of like 11 just guys. wanting to fuck. Like the desire to fuck. And then all of a sudden this one female is... What do you is... Think happens every time you walk in the room anyway? <laughs> <laughs> I like that you're starting at 100%. You know, just 100% up from there. You got there. 1,700% in a room. All directed to this one... Well, I would say object at this point. Uh, yeah, object. Yeah, object. Object of, of affection. Object of like sexual of sexual Lost desire. Or even predatory. I mean, isn't that just the rawest, just horniness in like a room? Yeah, that's why I like the gangbang porn. No, exactly, and and that's the same as the tentacles because each of the tentacles kind of represent a different penis. It's like, and yet all of them are so eager. See, the thing about like tentacle hentai is that they don't rape the girl raw. They like go up and they tie up the girl. They make sure that like she's lubricated everywhere. They tease her. They like you know nibble on her nipples. Like I mean, that's kind of what I watch. I mean, <laughs> and the girl is fully like very physically aroused, although mentally very fucked up. Mentally resisting it, but they know what buttons to push to get her horn. Right, and it's not like a real situation where you run into a gang of 10 thugs who just want to get it in. Like, they're, that's entirely different. This is like, these penises are so driven by, like, wanting to fuck, but they also want to fuck something that wants to fuck. But also, then, in a lot of ways, don't are we saying that, like, these creatures almost represent the, like, the id of these women? Or just, like, this sort of, like, the, this, their primal desire that because of who they are and the culture that they live in, the society they live in, aren't really allowed to want this or get this. And then this thing comes that sort of represents that desire and just takes it. And, like, by, and almost by, by taking away her, you know, consent or her permission that, like, allows it to happen. It's perfect. You don't have to admit that you want this. And yet, even though you and, and and even though you can enjoy, you have you, plausible deniability. You, exactly, you were you were put into a situation, but that's where where you asked me. You know, are you the tentacles? Are you the woman? It's both because once once the the room fills up with all of the sexual desire, you get to step into the shoe of the object that is receiving all of that desire. Now, what does that do to your ego, right? And and part of jerking off, you holding your own dick, <coughs> is you holding your own ego, right? And and really, it's like it's you're. Me want to bust a nut. Yeah, you yeah, it's just not that complicated. <laughs> I think I think like it is. You have this whole like textbook thesis. I think it's true. It, I think know? it's true. No, I think when you're holding your dick, you're holding your ego in your hand, and you're jerking your ego off, right? I mean, truth with me too. Like I as think a woman, that's you know? overcomplicating it. <laughs> you just want a nut. I think that. that when I'm jerking off, I'm jerking off. Fair enough. Hey, not, it's, 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 not, it's, like it's not even I'm jerking, not, jerking off because I want to come. It's I'm jerking off because I'm jerking off. You're not engaging with like the the further literary aspect of, of these pornos that are made for your pleasure, right? No, I have done that. That's why I don't watch <laughs> porno. <laughs> Well, because I've, I've, you don't I watch porno. I don't really care don't for porno, porno in that. Well, it's it's because I'll I'll end up doing that. I'll look at like okay, like the story <laughs> here and like you know the interaction between these two people. And I just I just can't envelop myself in it because you it, have just, to it, just, it just it just it just I can't suspend it. It's just too much bullshit. It's hard to find a girl to do to those things for free. Not even. You it's know? like I but just can't. Them, no, no, no. It's problem. like I just can't Whew. put myself. In, the, in these people's shoes. I can't relate in any way to That's this That's why you watch porn, because you will never be in those shoes. It's like, it's putting you That's in a not, position yeah, that you're higher, not going Yeah, but it's like, I want to put myself in a position that I can feasibly imagine myself in. Maybe, I don't know, I mean, like, I like it to be something, I mean, I like all sorts of off-the-wall shit, but it's also like, I want, I need to be able to to insert myself into it and you know i don't have anything and it's like you know you watch porn maybe you insert yourself as the man you know i can't do that i see the guy i'm like i'm nothing like that guy i wouldn't do I that like, shit that he's like doing this guy's better. a fucking <laughs> because you can enter any world you know it's like i mean it's i don't like, need to see myself in it you're to pulling get off a on lot it. of pleasure from all of the aspects of the of the show it's you know they're both sides of the characters both the antagonist and the protagonist you can step into and derive pleasure from i mean that's where Really, like porn is is kind of like a very ultimate pleasure in a way. It's yeah, like, but I think a lot of that makes it interesting or exciting is the context of it, or like the 
well, just situation it. behind it. Just thinking about like, okay, if you're t- we're, we're talking like, you know, Neil says, you can't find a g- girl that does that for you. That's why this exists. I would not walk into a room. And if 17 guys, I walk in a room and 17 guys drop their pants and they're like, I want to fuck you. I will bail out of there in like no fucking seconds. I will promise you that. But I'm sitting in my fucking bedroom and I got my fucking second boyfriend on my fucking, in my fucking right hand and I got my left hand on my phone. I mean, then the world is your oyster, right? Yeah, but the thing is it lets you off the hook from having to take any of the actual responsibility Dude, of any of that shit. Like actually sucking 17 dicks in a row, that would be horrible. But you'd do it in a cartoon. No, I wouldn't even do it in a cartoon, I feel if like. If you were a cartoon, you wouldn't suck cart- 17 cartoon no, dicks? No, no, I would Because well, only... then you're living as a cartoon. You are that person, you know. I so already like kind a, of live in a cartoon, person. really. Uh, I mean, even as I, even as a cartoon, I would. You be couldn't a, just you don't you don't think you could go around the room and give each one like a couple of sucks and it'd be no. okay? Absolutely not. There has to Why? be a frame around it. See, but like, the, say say they were all these unicorn men that were vetted, you know. <laughs> the frame is what makes it what makes it the fact that there is a frame around this scenario there's no frame around my fucking vision at this moment yeah no way so i wouldn't go around and suck every dick in the room no but if what if these were 17 magical dicks from like the 17 do i get what like a million kingdoms? dollar per suck or some shit like no that's it's not story, a transactional like, thing uh whatever it's listen the, the frame right the i'm frame just is trying to figure out like what i need to do to to, to <laughs> I organize think it's been explained. It's like not who do i happen, who, who, let me look it up my phone for like 17 dudes like okay so yeah maybe him uh you gotta put a camera in front of it word the frame is, is what I'm talking about as a frame is, is that it's got to be fictional. It's it's got to play to a fantasy. It can't be real. If it's real, it's exploit it's like exploitation. It, it ruins it entirely. But now you watching it from like, you know, it has its own boundaries. You you can separate it from from what your life is about. So then you can fully disengage and really enter. In your real life, you really can't disengage from anything to escape into this fantasy. Well, especially no when fantasy. you're having sex with somebody because it's like there's an act. It isn't just this sort of like. Right, absolutely. I would never perform like these girls. Especially when they're animated. I mean, I mean. Yeah, but thank God somebody does it because it needs to be acted out. <laughs> don't you think? Uh, for certain individuals, yeah. I, I, I prefer that it's. Honestly, I prefer it as a video form. And if somebody does it, like, that's. That's great. I wouldn't be me. I'm just saying I'm glad like I think like whatever sexual act that can be conceived by human beings, someone should is be gonna videotaped. should be is someone's gonna act it out and it should be videotaped and the rest of us should watch it and beat off to it if it if it tickles our fancy. Sort of like for educational purposes. No, not, <laughs> not for educate no, I don't even purposes. think that. It's just like I just think like you know, like I like I I wouldn't deprive myself of watching like a fun video of something wild just because I didn't think I could ever do that myself or I can't see my, I, I want to see this shit. That's true. I want, I look at porn to see shit I know I'm never going to be able to do because, you know, I have, I have fun, wild, weird sex, but it's all within the realm of the possible. Porn is impossible and mm-hmm. that's what I think makes it appealing and it gives you a chance to just f- run around in that world and explore these you know, these things that don't necessarily match up with the values you have for treating actual human beings. There's and there's no real consequence to it. No, not at all. You don't compromise your integrity. You don't compromise your character. You, you didn't actually learn. interact with another person at all. Exactly. You wouldn't have to involve anybody else. It's, it's, it's great. You wouldn't have to bother nobody for their time, set up nothing. Yeah, well, I think it's time. To- I've been thinking about generating some of my own erotic materials. You've We've made t- sex tapes. A few things have popped up on my Snapchat, but nothing like too, too crazy. But I'm th- I'm thinking about actually doing more curated and you know staged and um, performed things on maybe some cam sites or something like that, Chatterbait or whatever. Do you yeah. do you go go on Chatterbait? Chatterbait. <laughs> it's like uh, B A T. It's like chat or C H A T R B A T E. All right. It's like Master a, check. it's like a, it's a campsite. Well, oh, whatever. Okay. You're, you're not into, you're not into any of this shit. Nah, I just it, nothing of it. None of that shit just hits me the right way. You know, like I'm watching porn. It's like this guy's a fucking meathead. You know, and she and I, I, I just can't like put myself in that situation. It just, it barely does anything. But so authenticity is like so much large shit out part there. for you. Well, in, in sex. there's I, plenty I, of I videos look, of like real people he having knows, sex. I look at things from a very narrow perspective, you know, and I have a difficult time stepping outside of my own point of view. 
you know, so to put myself in someone else's shoes like that, it's like, no, like, it's got to be me. How's things know? going for you then in real life as far as, like, the... It's pretty good. Yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, like, being in a band is great for that shit, uh -huh. you know? Like, fucking... You just knocking them down? Do you have a sure, something Do you, do you like have that. a girlfriend? No, not right now. Do you have fuck buddies? Or no do one you, right now. Do you just get groupies at your shows I and then you never groupies. see them I'd ever again? I had fuck buddies... You know, just from, like, people who had, like, seen me play, you know, or seen me perform and all that shit, who I would, like, then run into later, like, oh, hey, like, this is, you're the guy who I was fucking terrified of on stage, you know, and, like, now I'm talking to you for a minute, you know, and, like, let's, uh... Let's go back to my place. Oh, really? You know? Yeah. So like, you like that. So you, so know, you like it in real You like it in real life? Well, yeah. You like to fuck? Sure. Are you good at great. fucking? What, how do you fuck? What do you fuck like? What's yeah. your sex game like? Do you... Are you like... Like like you go hard? Or are you like kind of easy? Are you a woman it? pleaser? You like are you like aggressive? Do you like slap them around? Do you get tender? I like to choke women. You do? Yeah. yeah. That's like... That's, that's like normal. really the best thing. And the thing is, I never even thought of that shit before a girl asked me to do it. I and do enjoy you... a good choke, actually. She's like, yeah, oh, they all do. Like, hey, they like, all do. Would you choke me? I'm like, what? No, I'm gonna why? fucking hurt know, you. Like you know, choke. it's like oh, I was. That shit I, looks it was sick. just like it's like no, like why would I do that? You're gonna you're gonna be like really fucked up from that. But then like I learned how to do it. Is the food ready? It, I mean, you, you gotta know? do it uh, like. Oh no, that the, yes. I don't know about that. I've choked people like <laughs> like passed out. If you yeah. want, if you want, like, fucking, let me know. Blue face. Do you we know, have forks and spoons like, for this shit? Is this yours? Here? Yeah. Holy if shit. You want some wine? Fucking... Holy shit. Yes, thank you. Oh, no, I've gotten goodness, to that point where like a person's like passing out. Another one I did. This is one of my favorites. Is we're like going through like all that shit. Like she called it like impact play or whatever. Yes, I, I would just call play. it beating her up. You know, I'm like, hey, you want to come over and get beat up and fuck? You know? Hey. And so, like, fucking, we're like going through all that shit and it's like kind of like not hitting the right note. You know, I'm like, and I'm just like, do you have a fucking fork? Yeah, give me a fucking fork. Why am I gonna eat this with my hands? Yes. But anyway, so like, I'm fucking, like, we're going through all the notes. And I'm like, this just, something's not right bad tonight. Like, hey, how about I just fucking punch you in the stomach? You know, and she's like, yeah, okay. You know, so I was standing up on my bed, and I punched her in the stomach, and she's like, harder than that. And so I hit her again, and I still was stuff. I'm like, okay, I'm actually going to hit you now. Like, if I were trying to knock someone out, you know. And so, like, I get into stance, I wind up, and I slugged her in the solar plex, and she just topples over, you know, like, doubled over on the bed, and I'm like, oh, shit, are you okay? And she just rolls over like, yeah. Did she like it? Oh, she fucking loved it. You know, and I did too. I thought that was great. You know, I was like a tremendous fan of that. You why? Know? Because, I don't know. I mean, like, why do Analyze you fucking... it. I don't know if I can analyze it. It just felt right. You know, I liked... <laughs> I, liked I liked hurting someone when it I was having sex right. with them. You know, like, there's got to be, like, a violent aspect to it. It can't just be, like... Like, oh, like, we feel good. You know, like, we're, like, fucking... Like, yeah, like, I want... I love fuck. you. Oh, Not so erotic. I don't even know if it's erotic. It's just, I mean, it yeah, is, this but shit it's is just the fucking like, bomb. Is it? First bite, I'm like, I'm full. Let me try wait, this wait. shit. I got this out of this rancid food black insects. butter taste. Mm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, this butter, though. I, I told you. The inside of the pancake. What's in there? Red Swiss chard. Oh, Jesus. It's like a... Uh, you know, like a red lettuce type. It's of like thing. a texture of pancake, not sweet at all, mm. and it just has this banging like vegetable flavor to it. The butter, this the butter. cilantro, it's all popping off. Yeah, cilantro. I hate this shit. You know, You're I have an faith idiot. in this butter. I am an idiot, huh? but you I know have what? Faith in this butter. How's your? You do? Is it okay? It's, so it's great. food. You put it in your mouth, you swallow, you shit it out. I think that's that a victory. It ain't terrible. You eat it for? I mean, I wouldn't say mm. that. I'd say that I can eat it. <laughs> It goes in my mouth. I'm eating fucking pizza face down off the sidewalk. I don't care about that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Romantic shrimp. over here. I think it works. In the, face down. And the shrimp goes with it really well. Oh my goodness. There's so many it, complex tastes in here. It what do you think, like Jake Corp? This is, this is amazing. It really? I can't you know, I, I tell my crushes that I can cook, but this is something else. Mm. Holy shit, right? Mm. No. I mean, I, I don't know, it's food, like, 
I can't tell if it's good or bad. Like, you know what I had for breakfast today? Hard boiled eggs. Nothing no, I'm just Look, That's just, it. You know, I'll eat like a bowl of fucking cornflakes. All you right. Know? I'll eat a bowl of spaghetti every night for dinner. On Do a favor for spaghetti. me. What? Just close your eyes, shut your mouth, and chew that piece that's on your it. fork. And give it like two seconds. I promise you. I promise mm. you. <laughs> You're feeling something, right? Just, just let it. Just let it take over. That's you. really fun. It's not just food, right? It, it's freaking. Am- oh, okay. Food. Okay. It's freaking amazing. I am a big fan. Listen, don't take my fucking criticism to heart. The fact that <laughs> food. The fact that he, the fact that he's actually me. eating it is a huge compliment. <laughs> That's true. I don't mm. know. I've taken to the position where I'm not gonna refuse anything anymore. Just if I'm hungry, it's in front of me, I'll eat it. You yeah, know? but you used to mm. rail against it. Yeah. But, you know, it's not really a change of perception. It's more just giving up on food. All right. No. You know. Well, too bad. No, why would you do that? That is so sad to hear from a Chinese girl. <laughs> point of view. Yeah, this food is fucking life. Hatred of food is it's so sacrilegious. I know. I mean, I think I mentioned before, like, I don't eat meat. Not like as a, as a moral thing. I just always thought it tasted stupid. But see, now I'm trying to, like, eat more meat because I know that something was hurt in making it. I know there was suffering involved. You know, something lost its life so that I could sustain myself. I don't like to wear clothes. You you like that, That something didn't get hurt and killed for me to have to wear them. I wear only leather. If you guys want more shrimp, I ain't like a leather shirt, you know? Give this to the sound guy. I don't know if this shirt caused enough pain, you know? Yeah, my food didn't suffer enough, so I'm not interested. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. You know, that's why I love, I drink like a ton of milk because I know that like they have like all that shit with like the dairy farming. You know, those animals are fucking tortured. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, that's the way to do food. I go through like a gallon of whole milk a week. And you can really taste the suffering of the, of the milk cow in there. No, it's more of a moral victory. I you see. know? Knowing that someone who thought that animals shouldn't be hurt for us to live was wrong. Yeah. Or that I am making them wrong. Or I'm, you know, throwing it in their face. So thanks for the shrimp. Mm. Whoa. Thank you. How, how did you figure out how to do this? Because you were like, I don't know, man. I don't want to make... Is it a little spicy? Does it have tang to it? It's got a tang. I'm going to say it was spicy. Chili in there, some red chili pepper. The spice is well balanced. It's not like jumping really? out at me. The pancake has a lot of fucking flavor in it. I mm. like no measuring cup, nothing like that. Yeah, I fucking hate pancakes. That's why when you said you wanted to make blueberry pancakes, I was like, get the fuck out of here. I wish you made blueberry pancakes. <laughs> of your fucking stupid ass pancakes. Everything has to be this big production for you. You got like all these ingredients. What's wrong with just a pancake? Why can't it just be like, what is a pancake made of? Like bread? Why can't it just be a pancake? See, you know, eat it dry. Right you, just, you just roll it up and what? just cram it in your mouth. You're done eating, you know? Where, uh, but where would the where's space for swag in that in that in that equation? I mean, doesn't need swag. It's food. You eat mm-hmm. it. You shit it out. Everything with swag. I'm he fine. lives in the wasteland. They don't have time for trifles Aww. such as like <laughs> taste and flavor and subtlety. And this is taking so long. That's why it I like prevented eggs. them from boil it. We're so privileged. We get to understand swag. It prevented you from dying for a few hours. So. Yeah, it gave me the energy oh, to, to, to break to, something to or get someone. back on the train and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. My time is over, you won't. Because you're ruining our feet. fucking meal with your. <laughs> but so my words make it so you can't taste the food for yourself anymore? No, I can't. Then t- for yourself. I can people. fucking taste the food, it tastes fine to me. I love so what's that matter what I, I like think food. of it? Because you're a guest on the fucking show and I have to put up <laughs> you with it. You need variety! You need to send an opinion. I don't even know what to call this shit. What the fuck is it? Food. I would just call it a, 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 a pink savory pancake. With uh, lime, cilantro, butter sauce. With grilled shrimp and cilantro butter. Yeah, with a uh, with a uh, dried anchovies. Uh, All right. Well, the thing is, when you describe your dish, you can't fucking list every ingredient, so you oh, got yes, like that's boring. Oh yeah. You got to get to the point. Yeah, the point. Food, fish, bread, cakes. That's all it is. Flat food and shit from the ocean. I want this guy was so fucking scared. Now I want to see him shovel it in his face and get the full accounting. Tell me how you like it. Suck your own dick and then the show's over. <laughs> what the fuck it, man? Holy shit, man. What's going on? 
My head's exploding right now. Be a little bit more specific. Actually, take I... a take a bite of the shrimp too. That was a good call. The shrimp went well with that. So I felt butter, lime. I could almost see the salt. shrimp in the pancake, like a Korean pancake. Yeah, maybe, I maybe that's not. That's what you were gonna do with it. Or maybe a taco. You know, take the pancake and roll and hold it like this with the with the with the shrimp inside for next time. Oh, or you could just take all of it and put it in a blender and just grind it up and then you can just drink it all. <laughs> and down. then you could just pump it up your own ass. <laughs> oh, that's right. a great idea. I want to get like an IV, you know, so I can, I don't even have to chew. Yeah, I can just I be fed and not worry about eating, you know. The views, man. This shit is fucking incredible. I can't really explain. It. I can't even put this into words. You but... have to put it into words. <laughs> well. It ain't as cilantro, cilantro y as I wanted it to be. Thank God. So I love for cilantro. That. Cilantro y. Anchovies, it, it, it's like that slight hint of fish. And you know, the texture's good. It's not, it's more, a little bit more of a bite to it than a regular pancake. Well, what I like about it is just like, I'm not a sweets fan because I find sugar no, it's not sweetness sweet at all. to be. No, but yeah, it's not sweet at all. I mean, I love the texture of a pancake, but like, it's so sweet. You got the maple syrup. It's just like, to me, I find sweet to be very one note, where savory dishes have much more complexity going on. And just the, the sort of blank slate of the, the pancake as a vehicle, you know, to carry all those, you know, more complex flavors and then just some fucking sugar, you know, bellissimo. That's all like lettuce or no, red Swiss chard in there. I should okay. Awesome. All right. Take chard. your dick out of your mouth and fucking say goodnight, everybody. Thanks for watching the Super Suck Hour. My name's the Super Suck Lord. We have our fucking good friend, Mr. Luke Reich. Reich. Luke is Reich. Luke Reich. Utopia Toys. J Corp right, TM. You. Wasted Talent. Yo, mm. holler me if you need some fucking catering. Can't afford it. <laughs> My name is the Super Suck Lord, suckadelic.com slash suck hour. You know the drill. Thanks, everybody. Woo! Satisfied? Well, what? Your performance.